Since 1970, there have been over 412 oil spills. Although there has been an annual decrease, the severity has not decreased. Oil spills are very difficult to contain and nearly impossible to clean up entirely. Oil spills can not only be harmful to the economy, but they can also be devastating to marine and land ecosystems. Economic impacts of oil spills are catastrophic. States and governments are affected. For example, the Deepwater Horizon oil spill of 2010 cost over 17,000 jobs in Gulf Coast states alone. Obviously, tourism brings in profits for the state, federal government, and boosts the economy. Damaged beaches from marine oil spills causes a huge economic downfall. Um, in the Florida beaches of the BP oil spill, that really hurt the economy of Florida states. But other states are affected too. The fishing industry is affected, restaurants, and economically, other states and countries are devastated by the import and export systems. Uh, the implications stretch further from the actual site of the oil spill, though. Crude oil prices go up to compensate for the corporation's losses from the oil spill, which means we are paying out of pocket for higher oil and gas prices. Um, also, the federal government has to cover additional disaster costs and economic turmoil that the uh, oil corporations do not fully cover, which means more tax dollars that we have to spend. Um, oil spills are devastating to marine ecosystems. Uh, for example, the BP oil spill um, killed over 150 endangered species of sea turtles and 316 seabirds died. Cleaning up oil spills is difficult and unpredictable. Marine mammals can lose their fur and their insulation from the oil deteriorating it, and they can uh, definitely die from hypothermia because they don't have that insulation anymore. Um, animals naturally clean themselves, but oil is poisonous to them. So they are ingesting this oil, it's getting in their internal organs, they are getting ill and dying. Fish and shellfish are also very affected by oil spills. Uh, the main concerns with fish and shellfish are fin erosion and their reproduction cycles. Oil pollutes the water and the sand. Um, oil can stay in sand for decades, even centuries, even after the sand is properly clean. Uh, when, when they clean the sand, they go maybe four or six feet um, down into the sand and kind of clean it up. The oil doesn't completely come from the sand and the oil seeps way deeper than six feet, so it stays there for a long time. Although land, is, uh, land oil spills are localized, um, they're still very harmful. Soil pollution is a major concern for land oil spills because plants cannot grow in contaminated soil and our water can be contaminated because the oil seeps deep into the soil and gets into our drinking water. Uh, oil spills are an ongoing problem today. Prevention is very costly for corporations and is relatively an ineffective way to go about it. Clean fuel is the way to go. Clean fuel could stop these drastic effects on our environment and they could boost our economy and enhance life and ecosystems. Geothermal power, hydropower, and solar power are all excellent examples of clean fuel and energy. Thanks for listening.